Hey church family, welcome back to another VBC Daily 3. Hey, I've got a phrase for you that I want you to think about for today's study. It's God is love. God is love. And we're looking at 1 John chapter 4, verses 7 through 12. And we're going to look at three things about this passage, as we always do. What does it say about God? What does it say about us? And what are we going to do about it? But whenever we want to define something, we go to our dictionary, don't we? Most of us have it on our smartphones and whatnot, but this is our big family dictionary. You want to go to find something, you go to the dictionary. Well, God has given us a definition of love in his world. There's all kinds of competing uh, definitions and ideas of what love truly is, but God has given it to us in his word. And it says in 1 John chapter 4, verse 8, that God is love. So if we want to see what love looks like, we look to God. And that's what it says about him in these verses. First of all, it says that, that God initiated this love. He's the one who gave his son. We, we don't love because we loved him first, but he loved us first. Uh, when we were condemned, when we were sinful, God showed his love toward us. And it also says that God, uh, his love is active, that he actually gave us a gift in sending us his son. So we've got the perfect definition of love. It doesn't wait for the other person to love, to love them. It initiates, and then it also, it gives. And so that's what we see about God. That's what he did for us. What does it say about us? Well, we're recipients of his love. And if we've truly been born of God, if we've truly experienced his love, then we actually turn around and we pass on that same love to others. That kind of love that initiates. Instead of waiting for, to receive love, we initiate, we give love. And also that love is shown through action. It's not just a feeling. It's not just a word. It doesn't just come in a Hallmark card. It comes in our sacrificial giving for the good of others. Well, what are we going to do about it? Well, this is the challenge, right? This is the challenge to say, if we're truly followers of Jesus Christ, we're called to love others. And not just with words, but in actions and in truth. Uh, and, and that's how the world is going to see the love in us. I love verse 12. It says, no one has ever seen God. You know, our world, they can't see God. God is spirit. They could see evidence of God, but they can't see God. But it says in verse 12 of 1 John 4, no one's ever seen God, but if we love one another, God abides in us and his love is perfected in us. That's how the world is going to see God. It's not through our doctrinal confessions merely, and it's not just merely in our expressions of saying we love them, but we've got to have the kind of love that God has defined for us in the scriptures that he's the one that initiates it. And he does it through sacrificial giving when he gave his son. And that's how we show love to others. Who is God calling you to love today? Maybe it's a neighbor, coworker, family member, someone on social media. Who is God calling you to love today? Don't wait for them to love you. And don't just tell them, but show them. Initiate that love and show them because that is how they're gonna see God's love defined in you. Hey, thanks so much for joining us today. Don't forget to join us tomorrow. We're going to pray through this passage. And please, please like and share these videos so that all can see God's love defined in his gift and gift in giving us his son, Jesus Christ. We'll see you next time.